What's up everybody, my name is Tim. Welcome back to another haircut and consultation. In this video, we're gonna be showing you exactly how we carried a new hairstyle. We have William in the chair. He hasn't gotten a haircut for about four or five months. He found us on TikTok. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of these videos. Let's get it. All right, William, what brings you in, dude? How can I help you? So I've been getting skin fades for the longest time. Mm. It's been doing that for like years and years and I just got sick of it. I just knew I wanted something longer. No more skin fades for me. Gotcha, you wanna so, see what your options are, right? Exactly, I gotcha. exactly. Cool, and we're gonna talk about your lifestyle, right? Since you said you wanted something a little longer, you're tired of the skin fades, right? Any mm -hmm. reason why you're tired of the skin fades? Well, yeah, I just, you, know, you, want, you want some change. Uh, you want it to look better in like suits, dress shirts, but you know, you I like a more sophisticated, look, sophisticated right? look. Exactly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, I see that there is a good amount of flow. Like, do you see how your hair is flowing back? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking a gentleman's cut today. Yeah. Okay. That um, sounds good. Do you want volume on top or do you kind of want it to split where it naturally splits? So That'll be the easiest thing for you. Up to you. If you want more volume, mm -hmm. that's an option, right? Then you have to push your hair to the, to the right, mm -hmm. right? We're going to have to force these hairs over. If you wanted less volume, we would bring it to this right here. But what, what feels good to you? Some, maybe a balance of both. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't want my, my hair just sinking and looking flat. Okay, but... okay, so a little bit of yeah. volume, right? Cool. Yeah. Sideburns, mm -hmm. what would you like it? Did you like a more classic clean cut or did you want me to taper it up? Mm, taper it up. Skin taper or yeah. light taper? Uh, light taper. Light taper, yeah. so you want some hair there. Yeah, gotcha. nothing too aggressive. Okay, gotcha. And then the mullet. You trying to you trying to do one of these bad boys or are you trying to skin it out? Nah, what, are you what are you thinking? That's gotta go. It's gotta go? Yeah. Are you looking for something softer, just like this, right mm -hmm. here, the sideburns, or are you trying to skin it out? Uh, again, it's up to you. I think softer would probably work well with the sideburns over mm -hmm. here, matching the back as well. You do have very high density back here. Mm -hmm. So anything soft in the back right here will look a little bit messier. Mm -hmm. If you want to go for a more of a cleaner cut, um, I would highly recommend a skin taper. Let's go with the cleaner cut. Then. Let's do it then. Cool. Right. Gentleman's haircut. Let's get it. All right. I first wanted to work on the back side, so I did a T-section. This will completely separate the hair behind the ears so that I can work with neat guides. I went ahead and used in between his eyebrows to draw a straight line down the middle of his head and comb the hairs flat apart. Next, I used the highest point of the head and brought a section down to his ears and clipped it. I did the same to the other side and with that, it should end up having the hair parted into a T. We agreed on the nape area to be a skin fade, so I went ahead and used my clipper of a comb technique to just remove a good chunk of the bulk. After that, I'm going to take my first vertical guideline just outside that first midsection. But before I do any snipping, I'm gonna make sure I clip that parting I created on both sides so it stays out the way when I'm creating that first guideline. Here I'm clipping the top section of the mid guideline so that I can focus on the bottom portion first. After that, then I can blend the top piece to the bottom. Now if I didn't clip those hairs to the side, there could have been a situation where the hair loosens up and I lose my guide. So now that the first guideline is set, I'll go ahead and release the clips, comb all the hair down, and now the goal is to make sure that there's flow towards the back middle of the head. I'm going to split the hair down the middle and clip that up. Now you're basically taking each section like this and over directing the hair you grabbed towards the middle of the head. If done correctly, it should look something like this. After the back is all set and layered, I'm going to move into my horseshoe section to separate the sides from the top. Starting from the corners of the hairline, pull it back and then connect both sides to the back. Once the sectioning is done, make sure the hair is still well hydrated with water before you start cutting the sides. You want to take diagonal sections starting from the temple down to the top of the ear and make sure you comb it through a couple times so you don't miss any strands. 
Next, I'm gonna take the same diagonal section just an inch above that first section I took and pull towards that same guideline. Here's a tip guys, use one finger at the top of your sectioning comb in order to hold the hair back as you grab what you need to grab. This will help you stay neat within your scissor cut. So once both sides are layered and set back, it's now time to blend the top of the hair to the sides. This sectioning technique is called the triangle sectioning. Start from both corners of the hairline to the apex and clip that up. So same diagonal sections, but now blending the top side to the bottom side, using the same technique from before. And the final step is to unclip that section of the fringe and connect that to the back of the head, as you can see here. Start with the midsection by using the start of each eyebrow while combing both sides away. Our apologies with the camera angle here, but I'm starting from the apex towards the back. This is because we wanna use the guideline set from the back of the head and connect it towards the front. And so for the rest of the hair on top, we will use that midsection guideline. With all scissor cuts that I do, I always throw a little bit of pre-styler before I blow dry it all the way. This is done because the hair is much easier to fade and edge up when dry. When lining up, I'm basically just floating and allowing my trimmers to clean up all the excess hair in order to create clean edges. William asked for a more natural and light taper on the sideburns, so we used the one guard and lightened that up for him. And finally for the nape, he expressed that he hated the feeling of any hair back there, so we went ahead and gave him that fresh skin taper starting from the trimmers and faded it up. All right, here's the recap. So we gave William a gentleman's haircut, mainly done with scissors. We put a one here, we tapered it up, something casual, something light. And in the back, we gave him a skin taper for that clean finish. The benefit of having a gentleman's cut versus a skin fade is that a gentleman's cut lasts about six to eight weeks versus the skin fade only lasts about two to three. How do you feel, Will? Great. Yes, sir. I guess I'll be seeing you in uh, six to eight weeks, huh? Six weeks. Before we end, please, we do read all the comments, so drop it below. I'll see you on the next one.